Are you struggling to write high quality chat GPT prompts quickly? I was, so I came up with a solution. Rather than waste hours trying to write really good prompts, I instead spent that time building the ultimate prompt writing tool. And it has massively saved me time. Like I can't believe the outputs that I'm getting from how little I have to do now. Now I did create this tool for myself, but it's so good and such a time saver that I figure I've got to give this away Way. I was gonna charge for it but I thought I'll just give it away for free and hopefully the goodwill comes back my way. So this tool uses a specific framework. Role, task, specifics, example and impact while also making the most of chain of thought and emotive prompting. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to use this tool, how I built it and how you can have it for free. And there's no coding or even prompting skills to use this. I've designed it so that my wife can use it as well and she is not into technology at all and she can create really good prompts with this. You don't need any prompting skill to be able to use this tool. Before we dive in make sure to subscribe if you're new here. You'll get access to AI tools, tips, tutorials, and everything you need to thrive online with AI. All right, with that happy note out of the way, let's jump into developing the ultimate prompt writer. To start off, let's look at the end result of this tool. I need to write a prompt that takes YouTube transcripts and turns them into snappy LinkedIn posts. This is an actual request that I was sent, so I thought it would be a good example. Then just from that very brief sentence, it's given me a prompt straight away, but you can see up the top it's asked me some clarifying questions. Now if I'm in a rush, I can just copy and paste that refined prompt, but I want a really good prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the four clarifying questions, I'm going to paste them back into the little messenger slot, and then I'm going to answer them. Now I'm just going to speed run through this, but basically just answer the questions with the kind of prompt you're hoping to get. Amazing. And now you can see this awesome prompt we get. It's been given a clear role, task, specific context, examples, and a final prompt. All I have to do now is highlight this entire refined prompt and put it into my own custom GPT or just start a new chat with GPT-4 and it's going to be able to perform so much better by spending this time with it. So if you want to grab this, it's completely free. Just click on the download link in my description. But this next section, I'm going to show you how I built it, as well as give you a bit of foundational understanding of really how to prompt. It's going to let you use this tool better, and it's going to improve your prompting ability overall, which I think is so important as AI becomes more and more a big figure. We need to be good at prompting. So the rest of this video comes from the last 18 months of my daily chat GPT use and all my reading up on how generative AI works. I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to learn something useful from watching the rest of the video, so I would recommend it. So I've gone into new GPT and then I've started to create a new GPT tool. Now the first thing I always do when I'm developing a new AI tool is that I make a Word document as a sort of Bible. Now this doc will be what the new GPT goes back to. So in it, I've outlined some of the key terms that I'll be using. I've done this for you, so there's no need, but if you're building a GPT yourself in the future, this is a really good habit to get into. Now I'm gonna build this AI using the same framework that I want it to be able to output. So to begin, I'm gonna give it a role. So I'm giving it the role of, you are an experienced prompt writing assistant that expertly crafts prompts that follow the system of role, task, specific, context, and examples. While also considering role prompting, chain of thought, emotion prompting, few shot, contextual framing, and notes and tweaks. You will refer to how to write prompts.docx for more information of this process. Now it's really important that you clearly label the attached document that you want it to refer to. If you don't, I find that it tends to not really use them. So you need to be very specific. Next up, we're gonna look at task. Now this is essentially your chain of thought prompting. And there's lots of studies out there showing that AIs do a lot better if you've got a sort of numbered list. I always try to keep mine to less than five steps. You can do more than five, but I find that it isn't as beneficial if I go over that five. Number one, review and refine a prompt given to you by the user. 
ensure it effectively follows the prompting system. And again, we've gone over what the system is. It also has the Word document to refer to for the system. So I'm just keeping the language consistent so that it knows what to do. Number two, determine if the prompt includes keywords and phrases that indicate its clarity, relevance, and potential impact on the interaction. Number three, ask clarifying questions regarding the prompt before providing the improved output. Number four, analyze the prompt content to assess how well it guides the AI in understanding and responding to the task. Number five, make necessary adjustments to enhance the prompt's clarity and effectiveness. Next up, specifics. Now this one is missed by most people and most videos I see on successful prompt writing seem to brush over this part, but it's really, really useful. So we know that emotion prompting results in far greater outputs. So emotion prompting is basically telling the AI why the output is important to you personally and your business as well as telling the AI why the output is important for it, that it will help benefit the world. Now, I know it kind of sounds a little bit mumbo jumbo, but there is a bunch of research that supports this that you get way better results if you use emotion prompting. If you want to have a look at some of that research, I've got it in the description below. So here's an example of how I write specifics. One, writing this prompt is critical to the success of the user's career and business. Please provide a thorough analysis of its structure and content. Two, ensure the prompt is designed to be clear and direct to avoid misinterpretation by the AI. Now that's not an emotion prompt, that is just a specific that I want it to do. Three, your accurate evaluation and refinement of these prompts is greatly appreciated and contributes to the improvement of our society and world. Okay, so that's definitely an emotion prompt. And what I'm trying to do is imply that the AI is gonna benefit the world because we know that if the, the AI thinks that's gonna happen, the output is gonna be better. Four, before giving you a suggested prompt, stop, take a breath, really consider your suggested prompt, then give it to the user. Okay, so this one is a bit of a strange one. I took it off a Discord group, so there isn't any science to back this one up yet. But just adding that little specific in, I have actually seen a noticeable improvement in the output. So now I just use it all the time. But you don't have to use that one. I'm testing it out, so I'll report back. But so far, it does seem really useful. Context. So context just builds on what we have so far. So I've got a bit of emotion prompting in here as well, just to try and really put the whole prompt together. The user needs sophisticated prompt solutions tailored for a variety of industries. They frequently test and refine their prompts to ensure the highest quality responses. Your role in crafting and refining prompts is crucial for improving our real world tasks. By precisely improving which prompts lead to effective interactions, you directly contribute to the optimization and success of AI technologies and help to improve the world's understanding and positive feelings towards AI. Now the best prompts will all have an example of the desired output. I don't know why it took me so long to learn this, but now I try and always have at least one or two examples. So for this, because the AI I'm making is a prompt writer, all I'm gonna do is feed it some example prompts that I've written before. Because I make prompts all the time, I've just gone back and copied and pasted two of my previous prompts. The first prompt is to do with being a social media moderator, and basically this is just an automation that helps moderate different posts. So I'm just gonna skim past that one. This next one is something specific to a workplace that I've been helping. Basically, it just helps them with their product development and how reviews and things like that can work. Awesome, so I've got my examples and that's basically it. We've built our tool now. One thing I've learned from sharing custom AIs with other people is that you have to give it some prompting questions for the user or people will get confused. So I'm just gonna chuck some in now. And these are just ones to basically help the AI give the best prompt possible. So I've set it up so that after someone sends in something, it will then give them the prompt anyway, but then it will ask them some questions to try and refine it further. And then I'll just go into configure and then under conversation starters, I'll just change the questions there as well because sometimes people just click on them 
and that will get them started. And that's it, we've built it. Now I've been using this tool since I made it maybe a month ago. It's already saved me so much time. I'm still refining it, so sometimes it has issues with certain types of prompts. So I keep testing it out and modifying it. If you spot a way that I could improve this tool, then please let me know. Or I could even make a sort of custom version of this that is unique to say your workplace so that the prompts are all around your type of business. There's a lot of things I think this tool could be used for. At the moment, it's just something I made for myself to try and, you know, make things easier. But I think it can help a lot of people. So do reach out with your feedback or other ways I might be able to apply this. But otherwise, I'm, I'm sure this is going to help you a lot with saving time. So all the best. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do. See you next time. And that's it. This tool saved me so much time. I hope it really saves you a lot of time too. If it has, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like me to build a new custom GPT on something else, then please let me know in the comments or on my Buy Me A Coffee page. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.